Okay, I'm going to talk about customizing your user interface layout. This is my uh, modeling layout, and it's pretty much the only layout I use unless I'm really working specifically on UV editing, in which case I do use the UV editor layout. So I've, I've got a customized modeling layout, but I'm going to show you how to turn your layout into the layout you want. So let's go to custom layout number three, which just happens to be a giant 3D view. I think that's its default setting. I don't think I've done anything to it. So what I want is to have a is to split it up into to a general 3D view, and then I'm going to split vertical, which inserts a vertical split. I'm not sure if that's intuitive or not. And I'm going to split this thing here horizontally. So there's two of them over here, and I'm going to split this one horizontally. So I'll split horizontal down here. And usually what I want is my materials available, so we'll just put that here. I'm going to add a tab. So we're just going to say add tab, and then I'm going to add a um, F key editor. Over here, I usually like to have the, the, the properties and the object browser. And I also like to have a console lying around for scripting, so I'm going to put in a uh, console. I wish you could actually just type commands into the console, that would be a great feature. And over here I'm going to add a new tab, and I'm going to add another new tab. And the first tab is going to be the UV editor, and the second tab is going to be the um, uh, node editor, wherever that is. Right. Again, it would be nice if these things were in alphabetical order, but they're not. So, 3D view, UV editor, node editor. And now if I just say save layout, that will be my layout 3. So if I go to layout 2, I get a custom standard thing, but if I go to layout 3, there it is. Um, so there's my, there's my customized layout, and I uh, hope you find that useful.